Hi everybody. All right, so this is our third video. We'll do some more terminology and hopefully get you familiar with more of the language of statistics. So we're gonna talk about parameter and statistic. So parameter, fortunately, is from a population and statistic is from a sample. And you'll notice I crossed off the word population in there for effect. So population, parameter, sample, statistic. Both of them are numerical descriptions. So they both start off with the terms numerical descriptions. Now, a parameter is from a population, and it's, it's a numerical description of a population characteristic. The statistic is a numerical description of a sample characteristic. Now, what is a characteristic? Well, common characteristics that we use in statistics are the mean, the median, the variance, and the standard deviation. There are other ones, and we'll run across those as we travel through the course. But I want you to get used to these right away. And let me explain. Statistics always works on the idea of some measurement of center, and then how spread out information is. So these are measurements of the center, the mean and the median. And these are measurements of how spread out the data is. All right, don't need to know any more for, of, about that for right now. Now, I have the word population here, and I have the word sample here. Now, I know they're not written well, but population, sample. The symbol for mean is mu when you're talking about a population. And we call that a population parameter. The symbol for sample mean is X bar, and X with the bar over top. And that is a sample statistic. Okay, so these are all parameters, and these are all statistics. Okay? Um, now, mu is like the cursive letter U with a long tail in front, and that's the mean. The median is mu tilde. For the sample, it's x tilde instead of x bar, okay? Now, when we get over to variance, we have this Greek letter sigma, and for standard deviation, we have the Greek letter sigma. How do you tell the difference? Well, variance is squared, and standard deviation is always the square root of the variance. So you'll see this sigma squared, and then you'll have this sigma. And for sample variance and sample standard deviation, you're going to have s squared and s. And again, you're taking the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. And so I make this little note. First of all, it's always the square root. To go from variance to standard deviation, you're always taking the square root. But there's another statement I'm going to make, and it's not written down in here. When you are computing standard deviation, you are always computing the variance. And then the last step, when you take the square root, generates the standard deviation. So if somebody says to you, compute the variance, basically, take the standard deviation and square it. Okay, so you take the standard deviation and you square it. You take the standard deviation and you square it, and you have the variance. Likewise, if you have the variance and they say, give me the standard deviation, take the square root. Now there's processes to compute these and we'll learn those later. All right, hopefully that helps. I'll talk to you later.